What is going on YouTube viewers? It's your boy Cool with Cool Kicks. Um, yeah, I'm excited to tell you guys because um, kind of came up. Kind of came up yesterday. Kind of came up. I kind of came up. Man, these are sneakers that I've been looking for. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to find it in my size. But uh, because of my efforts, my brother-in-law will be coming up. Because, yeah. So this is my review of... The Winter Rise 4s, you guys. Winter Rise Jordan 4s, man. Wow, these are amazing. These are what I was trying to get. These are what I was trying to look for. Um, I did hit, uh, I think I hit up, what, four, four or five outlets yesterday? Four or five outlets. My goal was to try to find these. Um, but yeah, um, these are size nine and a half. I wear size 10 or 10 and a half. I prefer the 10 and a half on the 4s. Um, I like that little bit of extra room on the front, but but I, I can definitely wear tens. But but yeah, I was only able to find it in a nine and a half. So yeah, this is my review, you guys. My review. I was gonna show you all the Jordan fours that I got, but these ain't even mine, so I'm not even. We're just gonna knock out this review. We're just gonna concentrate on this shoe. Um, man, these shoes are just insane. Uh, I'm a huge fan. The leather is a lot softer than I thought it'd be. Um, yeah, these. These aren't as durable as I thought they would be, but yeah, these aren't as durable, but, but these are definitely dope. Definitely dope. Um, yeah, these come with black laces. Uh, let's start from the top to the bottom. Uh, obviously, they come with black laces. I don't know if they come with extra laces. Uh, to my knowledge, they do not, but I bought these at the outlet, so uh, these are the only laces they come with. The black accents on the bottom, on the, on the midfoot, the black plastic straps are on the side um the black lining just just a really good fit really good fit goes really well with the blue and and the hit of red i love it when jordan gives us just just a little hit of a of a specific color of especially of a bright color and the hit of red on the flight on the tongue as well as on the inside on the on the on the top of the tongue just, just it really it really does well man it really really looks sweet guys it really does look sweet the loyal blue really looks nice you guys really really does look nice um yeah this is just this is just a really good really good looking shoe you guys i am surprised at how brittle or how because this is a winterized version of a shoe i'm surprised that the leather isn't as durable as as i thought it would be because there are a couple marks on here and that's kind of why they're at the outlet and that's quite why i got it for the crazy crazy price i got it at you guys are gonna have to find out um, how much i paid for this next sunday um or this upcoming sunday if you're watching this during the week so the upper is a new buck or or a suede, I can't really tell to be really honest with you. But it's treated, so that's what's kind of throwing me off. It is treated um, because it's supposed to be a little more durable, that type of stuff. But um, but yeah, not as durable as I thought it would be because there are some marks. Um, there is creasing. These just came out just, what, a few days ago. And someone probably wore it just a couple times. And that's why it's at the outlets. But yeah, there is already creasing in the front after just being worn a few times. The soles are classic Jordan 4 soles. Um, well, with the Jumpman, at least, you know, it doesn't have the, the, the Jordan on the bottom like some of them do. Brought out the, the black cement or the breads, whatever you want to call them. Did bring those out so we could do a little bit of comparison. Um, yeah, there are quite a lot of differences, you guys. Um, obviously, the upper feels a lot different. Um, and, and I think primarily because it's treated on the left side on the, the winter rises. It does get that winter treatment a little bit. Um, has like some wax or something on it. Something. The netting is it's not a it's not a netting. It's more of like a plastic with holes in it. Um it is some textured plastic with holes in it. And underneath it does look like it's just uh plastic as opposed to some fabric material on the traditional Jordan Forest. Uh, also the the back does not have a Nike Air logo, and that's because this isn't one of the original colorways. Only Jordan 4s that do get the Nike Air treatment on the back is with the original colorways. So only four of them get the Nike Air on the back. Um, actually, I think one of the exceptions was the Jordan 4 What Does because th that did get a Nike Air because that was based on one of the jo uh, original Jordan 4s. Um, a lot of the other stuff are uh, very, very similar. Um, the bottom 
The bottom, it does have a Jumpman. It doesn't have the Nike Air, just like, probably because it's not one of the original colorways. But, but everything else, um, very, very similar. Very, very similar. The, it does have the exposed the exposed air unit on the side. So, so one of the big, biggest difference and one of the things that separates this from the regular Jordan 4s is the fleece lining. The fleece lining, it is hella soft, hella, hella soft. And yeah, it's it, it's probably gonna help keep your feet pretty warm. Pretty warm, you guys. Yeah, it's definitely definitely nice. Definitely something a little different and, and a little bit nice, you know. Take a look at these sneakers, you guys, and let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. I think these are fire. I'm still gonna be trying to look for these in a size 10 or 10 and a half in my size. Um, I don't know if I want to pay retail because I paid retail for too many sneakers recently. So I'm going to try to find these at the outlet. They're not totally sold out on Nike.com and the resale value isn't super high. So I'm going to try to continue to find these at the outlets. Ho hope to get some returns. And then if not, I may or may not have to buy it on StockX. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, take a look at these sneakers. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I love these sneakers. I really do. I just can't pay $200 for them because... Um, uh, I've paid 200 for way too many sneakers this last couple months. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section, you guys. Have you ever failed? Are you listening? Damn. Uh.